Hi, my name is David Etkin. I'm working with Darius Sarani, Jason Tang, Anjali Smith, and uh, one of our school's biology teachers, Mr. Jennings, on an aquaponic system. The system uses fish to fertilize plants, and the plants help filter the water for the fish. This system is going to help both our school and our community. Well, a crisis on which fish we are going to use. We're going to use tilapia for our main system, so we can like give it to a soup, system, soup kitchen or something. Rather than goldfish, which we're going to use for Niska Day, we have even another crisis. The pipe that connects to the flood valve is popped off, and now the whole system is leaked and drained, and it's completely dry. Last Friday, this uh, small tank pipe that goes into the one liter bottle, we noticed that it fell off, and in turn, all the water that pumped out of here pumped out, and then our fish tank went dry, and everything was stuck in here, and the whole system drained and leaked, and that made our pump run dry, which is not supposed to happen. And in doing so, the impeller uh, got burned out. So basically what happened, since this ran dry, the impeller that's inside the pump uh, burnt out, so this, the pump was not uh, strong enough to pump water to the top flood valve. So for this day, we'll probably use this pump and replace the impeller, but in, for now, we bought an actually more powerful pump, 110th horsepower versus 112th horsepower that we're going to use instead. And as the water comes in from the inlet, it creates suction, which, which will create a vacuum and suck the water in, and then it spins and then pushes it out. We're putting seeds in holes. Are you taking a video? Dang, are you taking a video? <laughs> Good job. This is kind of nice. Too big though. Bigger is not always better. Yeah, it's the, the top. The, this little drum it's, and the yep. attachment there? Yep. Mm. And we put three layers of silicone already on it. It still doesn't. I'm wondering if you can so see you're gonna kind see of a now washer. In a second. Okay. But that's the only joint that's the That's the real it's second. Quite a drip here. Oh. See? Lately, we've been getting a lot of budget cuts in our district. And these have been greatly affecting the science and technology departments. And we believe that our project will help benefit these departments because it includes a variety of subjects. Our aquaponics project affects many people in our community. Our fish will go to a local food kitchen in Schenectady and the plants that we're growing will go to the cafeteria. Our project has gotten a lot of publicity and a lot of people in the community know about it and they like it. Our project is loved by the entire community because it will benefit every single person. So this time we want to see if it evenly disperses. We've got to change the angle a bit. But actually, I think this, this one has more shell because it's up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The final 17, no more leak. We've gotten help from several people in our community. Dr. Crosby from SUNY Cobleskill, Mr. Huey, 
who gave us the design of Barrel Pump, Mr. Wolf from Norlight Corporation, who donated the shale to us. I want to thank Mr. Landry, our town supervisor, who put us in contact with Mr. Yeto, the town engineer, who gave us plumbing advice and barrels, and Mr. Sheehan from the Schenectady ARC, Dr. Sudeth from the Schenectady Museum, and Ms. Kit Goldstein-Grant, who has helped us planning our music component.